Okay, today I'm going to be installing an electric bike conversion kit. This is a Golden Motor Magic Pie version 5 kit, and I'll be installing it on an older bike that I have, which is a Giant Sedona. Since this kit is replacing the rear wheel, I started by loosening the brake cable, and then I loosened the quick release lever on the wheel. With it loose, I just held down the derailleur and lifted up on the rear wheel to remove it. Since I'll be reusing my 7-speed freewheel, I used a freewheel remover tool with the 1-inch socket and an impact driver to take it off. I'll also be reusing my previous tire and tube, so after letting most of the air out of the tube, I used a pair of tire levers to remove both. Then I transferred them over to the new wheel and inflated the tire bit. After that, I started to replace the freewheel by first placing the included washer on the hub, followed by the freewheel. The spacer is needed to keep the freewheel from binding to the hub, so it's pretty important. Next, I added the provided spacers and made sure they cleared the freewheel, as this prevents the freewheel from binding on the dropouts. On the other side, I added a lock washer and then placed the wheel back on the bike. Once the wheel was resting fully in the dropouts, I added the remaining lock washer on the freewheel side and then I secured that with an axle nut. On the other side, I added a universal torque arm for extra safety. These just go over the axle and attach to the frame with a hose clamp. And finally, I just went back and tightened both sides down very securely with a 7 8 inch socket wrench. That was pretty much it for mounting the motor. The next step was just to run the wires from it to the battery and the handlebars. Here I just took my time and used several zip ties to secure the wires to the frame. To prevent cutting the wire to the battery, I simply wrapped it around the top of the seat tube and ran it down to the mount. Next, the grips, shifters, and brakes needed to be removed from the handlebars. The easiest way I found to remove the grips was just to blow compressed air into them. Once I had everything removed, I attached the display unit to the center of the handlebars. To make installing the controls and brakes a little easier, I detached them from their wiring harness. I went ahead and labeled the wires so I'd know how to reconnect everything later. Then it was just a matter of figuring out which configuration I like best. On the left side, I placed the throttle, e-brake, and display controls. And since room was pretty tight, I just decided to skip uh, putting the three-speed shifter back on. On the right side, I placed the cruise control, e-brake, and the seven-speed shifter. And finally, I replaced both grips and attached the brake cables. After finishing that, I connected the battery and gave everything a quick test to make sure it all worked. The display is actually pretty nice. It'll show current speed, average trip speed, max trip speed, trip distance and time, as well as total distance. And it can be changed to show units in miles or kilometers. And the last thing I did was to program the motor controller to comply with local laws since it was able to reach about 30 miles per hour out of the box. That's about it for the installation. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below and be sure to check out our blog article that has additional details. Thanks.